But at the half, you wanted to see some pride from your team. You wanted to see them respond in that way. Were you more pleased with what you saw in the second half? Yeah, I mean, I think we played really well in the third quarter and came out. And uh, I think the fourth quarter, we did some good things as well. But I think we just got to play tougher and we got to play for 60 minutes. We haven't put 60 minutes together really all year. We always take off like 15, 20 minutes, and that's when they really get on us, just like Lynchburg did in the second quarter today. Got us. It happened in Dickinson in the fourth quarter. So we got to find a way to play that. And we got we to do better on the offensive end, scoring on our open shots and scoring more tough goals. And that's how you win games. And we're just not quite getting that right yet. A lot of new guys in there, and we're still trying to find our way. But hopefully, you know, a good part about this tournament is that we get to play again tomorrow against a really good team and another good opportunity to see if we can win, get, a, get a W. You made a goalie change at the half, and I know there's always a lot of reasons for things like that, and, and certainly one of them being you're playing again tomorrow, right? Um, but what did you see? You put you put in a really young goalie who made his debut. What did you see from him? Yeah, you know, Nick's been playing really well in practice and getting an opportunity. I just think, you know, Justin, you know, he's played a lot of games for us. I thought he needed a little bit of a break, and we weren't giving him really any great you know help there, I thought, in that. So I thought just making a change right here, give Nick an opportunity um, you know he did okay you know gave a five he only had one two saves I think so you know you know we'll, but Justin will start again tomorrow and he'll be fine with it and understand and he still is a great cheering everybody on but sometimes you got to do something different and you know our save percentage isn't great and so we tried to do something a little bit different to see if that sparked us a little bit did you see anybody stepping up and, and demanding accountability was with the, the body language stuff I know at times it didn't look great tonight but did you see some guys that really stepped up and showed you something leadership you know, I think you know you know Grant Zick does a great job of that and you know Jack Scalati does a great job of that and I thought you know Robbie Vandegolt does a great job of that being just you know tough as he is and you know I thought we I thought everybody played better in the second half and really gave us an opportunity to compete and get back and we had some chances to get back in the game unfortunately you know we kind of gave them a couple easy ones there and we just got to clean up our defense a little bit we didn't slide as well as we usually do but it happens in but we got another chance and we're still trying to figure out who we are I think which is a little late in the season but we're still trying All right, as you mentioned that is the, the great thing about this event is you get to turn around and, and come play tomorrow yeah. against a team that's you know licking their wounds today and is a really good Washington and Lee team just your thoughts on that and I, even after a loss, what this event continues to mean to you? Well, I think it's a great event. You know, overall, I think the, you know, it's about the coaches and the, the sacrifices and they do, and it's a great day for Division Three lacrosse to stay all around with great games and great players. Everybody played really hard and tough, and that's what it's all about. That's what makes this tournament great. And then, again, you get to play some great games tomorrow that are really, really important to people's seasons, and you'll see teams sell out. And But tomorrow's a hard day for everybody with guys playing back-to-back. -back. So it's going to be a great day, and I can't thank everybody enough for being here today. Uh, and tomorrow's going to be a beautiful day, like, 70 and sunny, so it's going to be awesome. Come on out, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, some great lacrosse again. One admission price, five games. Coach, right. thank you. Appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow night. Appreciate it. That's Paul Cantabene. I'm Glenn Clark. This has been day one of the Mustang Classic.